Hello, so this video is just to properly show um, the CPU here connected to the web. Uh, so previously it was using a telnet server, but I decided to kind of upgrade it and bring it into an HTTP server so you can open it on a, on, as a web page. So I wrote a simple C++ uh, HTTP server uh, in, in C++. Uh, it's a simple server, it's a simple thing. And now the CPU uh, is connected here to the uh, to the web. So if you go to the address uh, sol.uk.ms, you will uh, get to this page here. So here you have the main prompt of the computer. This is not an emulator. This is directly connected to the computer. My homebrew CPU here uh, over the serial port. So this uh, sends requests to the server. Uh, real time which runs on my computer and the computer sends and talks to the CPU here next to it via a serial cable so on this page you have some description of how it works you have a description of the computer itself what features it has etc here you have some downloads so you can download the BIOS file which is the assembly uh, file for the for the BIOS right now and this is uh, always updated because it comes from my working directory uh, then you can also see a list of opcodes, an image here of the opcodes and you can find the ego schematics here as well there's also an online assembler that you can use uh, and there's an example program here and explaining how, how you use it so if we copy that code for example and paste it here and click assemble it's going to call the assembler and return uh, the results to you so this is the machine code in uh, hex form <coughs> So this is an ASCII file, text file, you can copy that. There is also the listing here, uh, and also if you made any errors, it's going, they are going to show up right here at the bottom. So if we look at the prompt right here, you can also click refresh, because it doesn't update automatically sometimes. Uh, for example, if anyone else is using it, uh, it's not going to update automatically, because it doesn't have Ajax or jQuery or anything like that. So you have to click refresh uh, so I was making a video just a while ago and someone else was using it uh, and it interfered with uh, what I was doing because it's a single user right now so let's say we want to run that code so you look at the menu here option 0 is to load a hex sequence so we enter 0 uh, so it asks for the address so that program is compiled to run from 9000 hex so we enter 9000 and then you just paste the, the string here and then you press enter so that's going to load the program into memory from 9000 hex if you want to run the program you type 1 then you type the address you want to run from which is 9000 and you hit enter uh, and it runs the program so this program is just, just a simple program to uh, print all the ASCII characters uh, I think they are from 0 to 255 so this is this is it right now there's uh, a few other options for example you can dump a memory block so if you type 2 you can then type the address you want to dump it dumps uh, 512 bytes so you can see the program is there right now uh, there's also the print local date and time which is my date and time uh, there's a file explorer which is number 4 it's a very simple file explorer each file is only 512 bytes uh, and that's it. I will improve the file system, but for now it's very simple. If you press zero, you can list all the files. And because of the my my IDE now was in sleep mode, so that's why it doesn't show anything. If you press zero again, uh, it's going to show the files. Uh, so these are the files that it has at the moment. For if you type one, you open a text file. You enter the text file name, for example, messages two. Press enter. Uh, and it lists the, the file. This file is broken right now because uh, when I was pasting it I didn't paste it very well. So these are the options. You can create a new text file. For example if you go 3 I will ask for a name. Let's type uh, test1 and then you can enter the file contents. Hi. Uh, you can also enter a new line with a uh, escape sequence uh, slash n for example. So if we do that, 
the file is created and if we go open the file test one <coughs> you see it's uh, pasted the, the file right here uh, you can also create uh, executables and run executables there as well um, there are no executables right now there so quit six uh, there's also a text uh, text adventure game that I'm working on uh, you can only navigate for now north south etc uh, you cannot pick items and anything like that because it's not done yet so you can navigate north north etc it tells you where you are it's an old school type of game uh, like they used to do like Zork uh, my computer does not run Zork right now because it's a different instruction set but I could uh, try and port it in the future but easier than that I'm just writing my own it's uh, fun to do so that's what you can do and you press Q to quit the game uh, so that's it right now it's live uh, when I go to sleep at night I turn the computer off uh, for now in the future I'm going to leave it on uh, 24 hours because it's connected to my main PC now so I have to leave everything open uh, on if I want to have the server on so it's not very convenient so that's it for now and uh, thank you for watching